Hey, what's happening guys? Happy Friday to you. Today I thought we would talk just a little bit about buttons, pull up and pull down resistors, and the states of our inputs. So the first thing, let's talk about our GPIO states. A pin can either be on or off, which is equal to high, low, or one, or zero, or true, or false. They all mean the same thing. And those are the two states that any of the pins can be in, right? wrong there is a third state and that third state is the floating state and in the floating state we can't quantify whether it's high low one zero true or false because we just don't know it can be anything or anywhere in between so when we have our microcontroller here, our Arduino, which is called the MCU, because, you know, that sounds pretty cool. And we have our ground rail and our VCC. And we have a switch going to an input. So if we run one side of the switch to VCC then when the switch is pressed we turn the pin on or we get a logical high or a one you know you know what I'm saying we'll just mark this up here as a one and if we run this end of the switch to ground then when we press the switch we get the logical zero or the low but what happens in this state where the switch is disconnected? Well, again, like I said, it could be anything. Because of the high impedance of our input, along with capacitance from wires or things near to it, the switch could be anywhere in between. So what we need to do is use either a pull up or a pull down resistor. So once again, here's our VCC and our ground. Here's our MCU and here's our input pin. We'll call it pin eight in this case. Now, if we want to do a pull up resistor, basically what we're going to do is we are going to pull that input high so we know that when the switch is open that that input is still going to read high it's going to read that one the logical one and then we connect the other end of our switch like this to ground. And when we connect the switch, we will get a logical zero. Now, here are two unique things about the Arduino in dealing with this. Arduino has built in pull up resistors. So you actually don't need to use a pull-up resistor in most cases, okay, in most cases. And you can just connect your switch to ground and the pin will read high when it's disconnected as long as when you declare it, you know, when you say pin mode 8, comma, input underscore 
pull up. And that's all you need. But the, the, the strange thing about that is, okay, remember we're pulling it up. So it's always reading one when the switch is disconnected. And when we press the switch, when we connect it, we're getting a zero. So what is actually happening there is we are inverting the signal. So the, the uh, built-in pull-up resistors will give us an inverted signal. So if you want a signal that is not inverted, what you need to do is to use a pull-down resistor. Same theory. VCC, ground, there's our MCU, and there is our pin. So in this case, what we're going to do is pull that pin to ground so that when the switch is not connected, we're getting a logical zero. And then we have from VCC, in between VCC and here is our switch. And when we connect the switch, we will get the logical one. Make sense? The reason it's going to work this way is because current takes the path of least resistance. So the current while flowing, you know, current always flows to ground. That's our current flow. When we connect this switch here, the impedance of the microprocessor will be less than the impedance of this resistor. I'm using 10K in our example, but you want to use somewhere between 5 and 10K. The impedance going in to the microcontroller is less than the impedance of this resistor, so the current will flow into the pin. Pretty simple, right? All right, let's see a practical example. Hold on, let me move this so you can stay relatively centered here. All right, let's zoom in a little. All right, so here we have our setup. This is set with a pull down resistor. So here's our switch. And here is our 10K pull down resistor pulling it to ground. Now the other side goes to VCC and goes back to pin 8 of our microcontroller. So you can see it is reading zero, nothing is happening, nothing is changing. But I press the button, we get a 1. And it lights up that little LED I stuck there on the pin. See how that works? Held at zero, press the button, we get a one. Now, this might work, this might not. So let's try this as just a little experiment here. If I unplug this wire from the switch, there, you can see just the impedance and the capacitance of this wire confuses the microcontroller and it doesn't know if it's a one or a zero, a high or a low. But now it knows. So if we wanted to reverse that and use the pull-up resistor, all we have to do is change our code to say input pull-up and we can take the resistor out of there and use the internal resistor inside the Arduino, which also works out pretty nice. So once again, uh, to choose your resistor value, you want to make sure it's somewhere in the area of 5 to 10K. And the pull down gives you the logical one, whereas the pull up inverts your signal and gives you a logical zero. Now this doesn't take into account bouncing all switches bounce, but we'll deal with that at another time. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little video 
on input pull-ups and pull-downs help you understand it a little bit better. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment and share. And thank each and every one of you for subscribing. It means a lot. Have a great weekend. I'll see you next time.